What's good, Stash Familia? We're coming to you with a whole nother episode of Stash Talk Reviews, giving you all that sneaker release and streetwear content that you need. Um, as always, I have my beautiful host with me. My name is Delmi, D3LMY underscore XOXO. That's right. Better know. You better recognize. And then it's your boy T Franz, aka Strawfitted underscore TC. If you know, then you know. Um, this time we're going to do this the right way, and we're going to go through the fit. In the beginning of the show. So, boom. I'm going to go ahead and go first. You already know. Got the Mets. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh. Oh. Hopefully that's good. Okay. Boom. Sorry about that. So, now we back. So, let me go ahead and start it off first. You know, all day. Mets all day. Got the New York Mets fitted. Subway Series patch. This is the LV collection from Hat Club. So, shout out to Hat Club. Beautiful, beautiful. You know I got the Trouble XM pin. 113 blip right there the peaky razor fire Mets all day New York all day just not no Yankees you better know it uh DMX graphic tee ready no rest in peace um got some Toronto Raptor Mitchell and Ness shorts which you already know my black toe one stop playing I'm doing crazy you know I'm calm but I'm going crazy right now you feel me but let me go ahead and move on to the next got a crop top shirt Boom. with some high rise jeans Boom. And these babies right here. Boom. Doesn't wear Different. Them. I didn't wear <laughs> No, I'm saying like not wear There's no way you're pulling them off that fast. <laughs> she just has them hanging off the foot. Like literally. It can't be no other way. <laughs> I'm starting to think she buys a size too big. Because the way she just slips out of them is ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, but without further ado, we're not going to waste no time. We're going to try to get right straight into it. And not waste your time like the last video. And make it a nice, sweet, good amount. So, boom, going into it as per usual, we're just going to go through a few little news and stuff like that, things that might be releasing soon or things that we're seeing for the first time. Starting off with Nike, we got the Nike Kobe 8, the Proto Triple Whites. First things, of course, rest in peace Kobe, rest in peace Gigi, rest in peace everybody that was in that tragic accident. Um, We'll give it a few seconds. All right, now we'll get into the shoe. I'm mm, sorry about that, but if I was hooping, I would definitely cop a pair of all white, like triple white Kobe 8s, just as I wear Kobe 8, uh, Kobe's in general as a fashion thing, I can't see myself buying all white Kobe 8s. You but said I, you wear this for basketball shoes? Yeah, I would wear, I would try them out for basketball shoes triple for sure. Triple white? Yeah, 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 I mean, because basketball shoes are dumb, I had the all white Kyrie's, and I really don't care about it being all white if I'm playing ball on them, like. But to actually wear out, if I'm wearing an off, I don't really have all white shoes, honestly. And if I was, it wouldn't be the Kobe 8. It's like a basketball, basketball shoe. But um, I am happy that they're doing more stuff with the Kobe 8s. Kobe 8, Pro, those are one of my favorite models of all. Other than like the earlier pairs or some of the Adidas ones. I but, mean, I'm happy they're bringing back Kobe facts. shoes back. Mm -hmm. But their designs yeah. could be way better. For sure. I just feel... This is the second shoe so far, and it went from white and black, which most res like a lot of respect for the shoe because we understand it's pretty yeah. easy. But then this is their shoe to follow up. I feel like they're also like kind of like treading lightly, like they don't want to. Why? Because they, they don't want to. Grinches. Because you don't want to. You don't want to do bad by it. You don't want to scare people. Not like you don't want to do bad by it. <laughs> nah, but you <laughs> feel me? Like you don't want to do bad by the by by the the okay, brand. Okay, but don't play it safe. What is the next one? All black. <laughs> I guess we won't go to the next slide. I'm joking, I'm joking. I don't know. Um, but now I, I see your point. I feel like it's a step. But you know, they did the alternative Grinches that they might be coming out Christmas. And a lot of people was just like, oh, that's all we're getting. Like, it's an alternative Grinch, which I also get to. Like, do something Grinch, new. Yeah. I mean, Grinches but, are, I guess, a classic. But yeah, of course, do something new. But these come out August 24th, 2023. Price is 180 um, and we'll see. We'll see what they what people are talking about. Like I said, I'm just more excited to see what other stuff they bring out. And like she said, I do hope that they start pushing the boundaries a little bit more. Um, but moving on to the next one. Give me one second. All right. Next one is, looks like it's actually, got you. How you go back? There we go. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. It won't be our show without it, right? Um, this right here, it looks like we're getting an actual sneak peek of a Nike Dunk Low. Uh, I might be wrong, but I believe these are the Nike Dunk Low Be True. How you feel about those? 
They're different. They remind me of that collab. Remember, um, it was a while mm -hmm. back, the one that I liked. The collab, it, lo it looks similar like this with the icy blue bottoms too and their box was like shiny also. It was a collab uh, mm -hmm. dunk. If you're thinking about what I'm thinking about, I, the concepts? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those yes. Concept no. The concepts. Dunks. Those concepts were nice, but they 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 wasn't colorful like that. No, it was no, no, silver. No. This, yeah, I understand. It was silvered out, um, but I get what you mean as far as the reflecting and the shine. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, that one was a very. I like that one. That's a shoe. nice shoe. I really like this, that though, shoe. This though. This one, I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I can personally say I'm good on these. It's that looks like it has a screw in it right there. It doesn't matter how. Yeah, I mean that's cool, but I don't. It doesn't matter how the pictures look. I think that's too much for me. In general, but there really? you go. Somebody Nike's pushing the boundary somewhere. Maybe not on the hat that looks like that. What do you mean? No, no, no did not look like that. No, yo, we're not gonna <laughs> do that. No, nah, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> She's talking about a my fittest John Jay, Marty McFly inspired angels hat. If you know, you know. If you know, you know what hat we're talking about. But okay, no, that but definitely yes. no, it didn't look like that. I'm not gonna let you do that. Yo, shout out to my fitness and John Jay. <laughs> Facts. All right. <laughs> Moving on to the that. next one. I got no info on this. It's literally just a, a teaser. We'll put the picture up. <laughs> I mean, I will hope so. Unless I'm slipping on my pimping. All right. So next one up right here. Nike Dunk Low Mixed Olive. Release sometime this year. No exact date. No price. Um, How you feel about these? Now, I like these. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to I ask you and then cut you off. But, um. Now, there is a lot of Nike Dunk Lows that are coming out that sometimes you won't see us preview and stuff like that. That's just because there's so many colors now. It's not like it used to be where certain, like a dunk colorway we would know it off rip, but we're just picking the ones we like at this point. But um, how you feel about these? I know you actually picked this one. I like this. Mm -hmm. I feel like it would have popped even more if they would have put like an orange for the Nike on the tongue as if it was like the seed inside. I to make it said. that like olive, but I love the colors, the different shades of greens that they use on this shoe. No, I with like the it too. white check. Yeah, no, I like it hundred percent. I like it. You got like the cargo cat, um, cargo green kind of like back with the laces to go with it, and then mm -hmm. you got the tag on the tongue, that lighter camo green mm -hmm. around the toe and the overlay. I see what you're saying about the off whites on it. Like the off-white off color on check. it. Yeah, check. Mm -hmm. And the lining and the back heel mm -hmm. tab. I feel like maybe that was too much off-white. But I'm not mad at it. I actually like it. I, I, mean, like I ain't gonna it. lie. I feel like I'm just picking at it. Nah, this is a nice shoe. You should put that pop of orange to make it... Blue. I feel like they could have even left it all like that. Maybe the orange wouldn't have hurt if they put it on the Nike. That's what I shoot, said. The tag, like the actual... Nah, I'm talking about like on this little little tag right there. On the yeah, Nike. I'm saying. If oh, I thought you meant change the, the, the check, the whole check or orange. The whole thing that says Nike with the check. Oh, okay, yeah, Should've yeah. Did I, that orange. I agree 100%. Yeah, facts. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like I said, we'll let you know when we get a date on these. But fire. Moving on to the next one. Now, these, for some reason, it was like some confusion with these. I could have sworn on StockX and on Kicks on Fire, they had a date that had already released. In March. Like, in March, right? I wasn't bugging. Mm -hmm. Because I even made the joke where I was like, I should have got this for my birthday instead. Yeah. But it looks like we was wrong. May 16th is getting a, unless it's like a bigger release, but it's getting a release. It might have been because it's released in Japan, so maybe that's what they're receiving. Maybe, maybe. For that date. I'll do my due diligence better next time. Facts. <laughs> um, price is 110 And, you know, we went through this last time. I like them. Gives me that old school Nike shoebox feel. Um, no, no complaints here on my end. I like this too. I like all the gray, mm -hmm. the orange. At first, I thought it looked purple. I guess the very first pictures we looked at it, but yeah, I fact, see that it's gray. But I still I'm like it. <laughs> so I look like oh. a bouncer. Yeah, it's the second one, right? We just added it until the camera actually just like, boom. Like. <laughs> but um, yeah. So boom, you know, fire shoe right here, May sixteenth. Um, if you cop, what's that today? was today. That was today. Yeah. That was today. So, hope y'all cop for sure, for sure. Moving on to the next one. Okay, we got some Retro 4 Red Cements. Mm. It's supposed to be released on August 12th. I just remember something I didn't do. Price 210 Next Next show, we'll get it more in line. I didn't get a chance to break it all down. It's like I didn't get a chance to do the week copper drop. Because mm. that one was part of the week copper drop. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Apologize, but we do got something special for y'all this weekend. Something different. But, let's get back into it. 
You said retro for August 12th with these? Yes. 210? Mm -hmm. How you feel about these? I don't like these. No, really? Nah, I don't know. I, I, it's not... I, like I don't them. mind the black on the line on the inner lining. I don't mind the black on the bottom sole. I mm -hmm. do not like the black on the, black heel. On the heel. Like yeah. I mean, not on the heels, on the, the little this, plastic tabs. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I like that. I, and I don't I know if it's this it. picture, but it's giving me like a grade school shoe. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh -huh. I'm gonna put the same but picture. But not with that price though. That's a mess. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> that's a mess. But I'm gonna put the same picture up because I, I feel like this this picture right here is not doing it for me. It just makes me gives me a grade school colorway. Like I'm okay. It's childish. Yeah, it's childish. Yeah, yeah, yeah it <laughs> like, I'm talking about straight window lock, like childish. <laughs> like, nah, I feel like if this is the shoe that's all in hand, I'd rather just try to get me the fire red fours or the white cement fours. Or if I'm really down bad in the all white fours, I'll just get the Oreo fours, the red ones. Mm, gotcha. They're all behind me, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I'm good on these. I ain't gonna lie, I'm good. Huh? Yeah. I like them. <clears throat> They're not bad, I guess, because I'm childish. <laughs> <laughs> Right here, boom. And you wear gray school sizes, so this is why I was talking Maybe, to you. Maybe, yeah, that's why I was talking to you. Um, like I but said. I'm not paying the price of it, that's for gray school. <laughs> nah, I like, regardless of if Fours is one of the hottest models, so I know you can get it off. I'm just being more selective with my money as far as what I'm paying. But nah, like, I know you can get the fit off. Like, yeah, don't let me knock you. If you fuck with them, you fuck with them, but um, I'm not jacking them. I'll pass on those. <clears throat> Cop, you said? Cop. You cop those? I yeah. feel that. I know you get them off. All right, boom. Next one up is the Retro One OG High 85 Metallic Burgundies are coming back out. Spring 2024, so this will be next year around this time. I think these time. were pushed back. They were supposed to come out yeah. earlier, and I think they were pushed back. Didn't they? No, that was a red, right? They did a red like a couple years back. I think so. Uh, white and red, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think they did burgundy. No, no, no. I know they didn't do burgundy. I think it was a white and red because I think I wanted it like myself. It was the OG, like whatever. But I like them. I don't. I'm. I'm uh, I like ones, honestly. I like ones, and I personally don't think that there's that many ones that's in a bad colorway. I know a lot of people are falling off the one phase, but not me. Like I've always liked ones, and then models like this, like this colorway. To be a hundred percent honest, OG? yeah, like it was these kind of colorways that kind of like really like was like because it, it was like who got the you got those like the midnight navy like the white with the midnight navies, mm -hmm. fire the white with the red ones was fire. I even like the white and court purple ones that came out that was sitting. Mm -hmm. I like those too because it gives a real like old school look. So I personally like these for sure for sure. I like these too. Mm -hmm. That Very price crazy. is crazy though, ain't it? Two hundred yep. for ones. Getting up there. At least they give you a ten dollar discount, right? What? From what? From the fours. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's getting wild. It's getting spooky out here. Alright, but yeah, boom. Spring twenty twenty four. They're like, yo, these man pockets is short. I don't care what y'all talking about. I just I can't do it sometimes. Some of these shoes I just know what I'm getting for that quality and I just cannot do it for sometimes. Alright. Retro one low. Sashiko, I hope I said that right. Sashiko, I feel like it's Sashiko. Like, I just tapped into my anime archives and I feel like that's Sashiko for sure. <laughs> and now it's a Japanese stitching design and craftsmanship inspired by Wabi Sabi. That, I know, I knew that. <laughs> a worldview center on finding the beauty and imperfection. Releasing, no date coming soon, no price, no, no nothing. How you feel about these? I like these. I have to say, I do not like retro lows, but these are so different that I like these. I like them too. At first, I feel like the stains, mm -hmm. like the, was too strong on the bottoms, but they're growing on me. No, I like the whole shoe. But I got that lightly stained, but those marks is... Those are... Those, those are, are dark, darker. Dark, yeah, 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 facts. But, but I like it. I mean, yeah, it's like yeah. a... Nah, that's a piece. I ain't gonna lie. That's a piece right there. Like It gives it a really, like, old like worn out look because mm -hmm. i feel like some um souls look oh, like that who's the designer behind this like because nah, uh, i did read about it but i don't remember what his name is it's a nice shoe he definitely did his thing on there like yeah. i see it like i see it it's fine it's very very nice i like I all these. of it yeah. yeah i like all of it not one thing that i don't like from the shoe fire because the other stuff is is white leather yeah and black leather and then yeah. on top of it it's the stitching that they put on it. 
Nah, fire. We definitely try to keep you posted with this because uh, it sounds like we're going to be trying to get these for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, for sure, Retro One Low, Sashiko. Hey, facts. Mm -hmm. um, Alright, this one right here is something we none of us is going to touch. Let me stop saying that because I want some of our followers to watch. We're going to get some followers that really, really be touching some us? shit. Like, yeah. Oh. oh, and I don't know about that. Like, I mean, <laughs> hey, for sure. But we'll be able to, like, you know, be like, oh, yo, I got those. Like, oh, show them off. All right. Eminem Retro 3 Slim Shady P.E.'s, the Super Bowl halftime show ones. Not knowing if they were released, but this shoe would be auctioned off for a charity. I said that like I knew it, but I'm really just reading the screen. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> um fire i like them but i'm pretty sure for the price it's gonna go for i'd rather just get the regular um fire red threes. and then you're gonna stitch on what, all that stuff are those the fire red threes or those that come what is it could come kakashi nah no, don't do that <laughs> <laughs> the kakashis wow <laughs> i just know the editor gonna be on my ass if i say it wrong Yeah, yeah, you can say some, you can say so. <laughs> Damn, I thought they were cool. I think I said the fire reds. I could have sworn one day the retro three called like a Katina, Katrina, could suck something with a K, and it was a white and red color. Nah, am I bugging somebody? Please comment. Um, let me know just, if I'm bugging. I think it's the shirt that you're wearing, DMX. What's Katina got to do with that? You know, he has a song where he's naming all these kinds of girls. You over here. That's, that's a stretch. <laughs> the name of the shoe over here. <laughs> but back to the sh back to the shoe because we wasted mad time. So that was that. Um, moving on to the next one. We finished this or did we? Not. Um, somewhat. Just real quick. Retro 3, Slim Shady, P.E. Super Bowls, halftime show. During that pause, I definitely did look it up. It was Retro 3 Katrina's that he did for the Hurricane Katrina relief. It was slightly different from the Fire Reds. That's what I was thinking. Just had to prove my point. Now we're going to move on to the next one. <laughs> Boom. These right here, it looks like it's the first look of some Amelion Door New Balances. Let's see if I can find the exact name. How do you feel about these? I like them. I like the color. I mean, it's simple, but they're nice. Gum bottom with the... The lining, it looks like a, like a UNC blue kind of thing. Good. She knows her shit. So these are the New Balance 650R UNCs. Boom. I told you, she's actually, she's in she's in the mix. Um, I'll be honest with you. There's not, I have not seen a, 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 um, a May Leon Dora do anything that I did not like. Mm. Like, I liked everything so far, honestly. Even some of the models that are on, like, models that are high on my... Like, I'll be honest, 550s aren't high at, like high on my New Balance list. But even his 550s, like, I was like, yo, I need those. Yeah. So, I'm I'm a huge fan, big supporter of it. Honestly, I haven't seen nothing bad come out from that brand. We and did try to get some, but they... Yeah, I tried, to go for, I tried to go for the Jades. Fast. What else did we try to go for? What was the last one before the Jades? I think it was one of the ones we spoke about in the last episode. It definitely was. I'm sorry. But I tried to go for the Jays for sure. The Jays was one that I saw, and I'm like, yeah, I need that in my life. And, um, you know, it didn't hit. If anybody hit, let us know. But for sure, we'll be on the lookout. Price is supposed to be around 165 I'm so sorry about that. But sometime this year. So we'll keep you posted. Moving on to the next one. All right. Sneaker news. So we got a little bit of <laughs> sneaker news. Alright, so it looks like well I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you go because I know you have more of the info. So I'll let you talk about it a little bit. So officially as of May eleventh, Adidas will be selling some Yeezy footwear again. Uh, you know, since they had split up with Yeezy in October of twenty twenty two, they've lost about four hundred and forty million dollars. <sighs> So they played themselves. <laughs> you played yourself. I'm definitely gonna put the coward part right there because I feel them. Like I, feel, I continue. They definitely played themselves. That's so mm -hmm. much money that now you're obligated because in order for make to make any profit out of these shoes that you just have sitting since you've lost the contract with Easy. I mean, the only thing that would make sense is to do a contract again, mm -hmm. right? So, the relationship is only intended, intended for the ma remaining of the Adidas Yeezy inventory that was left over, you know, since the contract okay. was done. So, there are terms for Yeezy Mafia. 
would be first part of the proceeds from the products will be sold that are that's going to be sold will be donated to a selected international organization we have yet to know what organization it will be donated to and then Kanye himself is supposed to receive 15% commission from all goods sold which it's a win for him I mean no, he has to had not been getting as much commission as he's getting now right I would think uh, or maybe so. he would make he was making more and now he's making less. I don't know. I don't know. I would. Love. I doubt it because knowing him, he thought ahead of the game of what was happening. He did he this probably, for a reason. He probably managed to script, make it the same. Like he's probably that's probably what he Freaking was getting. Even. Yeah, that's probably what he was getting already off rip. But now, in addition to his commission, they're also donating money. I mean. Whatever, everybody. Regardless of that, right? I think I think at the and well, I'm gonna let I'm gonna we have one more point where is um German sports store have announced their plan to liquidate four hundred million worth of unsold product and then so far it's been two users that have been uploaded to confirm that which were the Zebras. no it hasn't been uploaded to confirm it oh, no? yet just UK and Europe itself I guess like oh. the the German sports stores oh, okay they My have bad. got you so that two styles. That's been leaked. That may be coming back um sooner. Um, I think it just goes to show, like you know, you knock people all the time. Like I feel like every time you talk about these brands like Adidas and Nikes, and you're just like, oh, you can't go against these brands. You can't go against these brands. But we got we have to remember at the end of the day too, the culture creates the brand. There is no brand of theirs without the culture that we live in. Mm-hmm. As far as we, I say, society, like. We're the ones that live this culture. We're the ones that feed this culture in all kind of aspect, all races, all through everything. So I feel like the way they sometimes downplay these these faces that come and like and like actually push these brands higher. I don't. I'm not cool with it because I feel like they do bring a lot. Like like I said it on the last video. I literally deleted my Adidas app after the whole thing happened. And I'm I'm not, I'm not a Kanye fan at all. Like I don't really listen to his music, but I have to give respect. To how he did things, like you feel me, my man. He created his own shoe and boo, like took it out the water. Like you feel me, I can't knock it. So when going into this, without getting into a whole vet rant about it, I don't know how I feel. Maybe I, maybe not, maybe will, depending on what models come out. If it's something that I really wanted and I see it's there, but all in all, I'm not as hyped for this re comeback of Yeezy because of the way it it's being done. It's still making it seem like a Oh, gotta we got it, yeah, and it's like I, I mean, I'm happy for him because he's getting benefits out of it. Right. But I just don't like the the um, the unappreciative of what this man brought to the company. Like, exactly. you know I mean, that goes for all other all other names that's going to these big brands and bringing the hype to it. I mean, but, in order for them to be using the word liquidate as yeah, liquidate yeah, yeah. is like to get like rid if of nobody would have bought it, the last and yeah. on discount. Yeah. So that's what they're making it seem like. Yeah. But I mean. Adidas did get way more, like, notice for a bigger community instead of just mm-hmm. a soccer community because yeah. that's what their shoes are based off of. They don't have, like, too much, like, running shoes or yeah. or basketball shoes. Facts, no, facts. they're based off of soccer. Yeah. So this opens up more of a community for them to get more income, more capital for them. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, on a side note, what he was talking about, the two styles that are supposed to be in UK and Europe is the 350 V2 Zebras and the 500 Utility Blacks. Boom. So, without getting too far into this, it's an all hot um, claps of flowers to Kanye for still getting at least his money side of it. Getting that um, bag. <laughs> I think we need to all start um, appreciating a lot of these designers and people behind these brands that bring these brands up. You feel right. me? Um, but... We'll see down the line when we see what comes out, how we're feeling about it. Only thing I can see myself, honestly, I'm going to say this right now, my utility blacks, I've been wearing them a lot, and they just got like a little like rip on the inside of the lining that I'm not happy about. So who knows? Maybe I might cop a utility black, just so I'm transparent with my familia. <laughs> um, next one up right here, I can, get, I can get a little info while you talk about it, but for sure off rip right now, this is actually... This looks like a forum Adidas. Yeah, it is. Right. It's a forum Adidas that is actually collabed with a company called Future Is Now. So they kind of mm. redesigned the forum low. To make it futuristic, I guess. 
Yeah. Instead of the one strap, they got the double strap. Wow, shit, that's feature right there. I don't like it. You know, I don't mind. I don't mind the entire shoe. I don't like this little like Flaps. this button flap on the side. Not the no. I don't mind the straps on the, the double strap, mm -hmm. but I don't know what that little like leather flap is on the side. Like I'm not. They're this. covering up most of the mm -hmm. shoe with these flaps that they're doing. I'm pretty sure you can you fold to... that down too if you yeah, want. Yeah, because to. it's a button. I'm sure I'm you gotta like flap it, it down, and you could flap the mm -hmm. back part down. I guess like where the heel tab is supposed to be. Um... It doesn't look futuristic to me. I'm just going to say that. Okay. <laughs> so to get a better understanding, too, on this stuff, this is actually, there's three colorways of this model in Japan. This released in Japan and is currently available in Japan. I don't know if it's they still like available, it. but it did release. Um, so we're kind of just waiting on the stateside release. Um, I guess some of us are waiting for the stateside release. <laughs> Not <I'm> us. <laughs> so without further ado, we're going to move on if it's okay with you. Yeah, that's fine. Because the future is now. Not here. Oh. At the next shoe. <laughs> um, so now speaking of Adidas, trying to get a little wave back and um doesn't seem like it hits the same, but I do like it. I do like the, the direction. We got the Bape and Adidas Forum 84 low 30th anniversaries. These come out May 20th, 2023 on a confirmed app for 180. And they got two of them for us. We got the green classic Bape Camo, and then we got that blue classic Bape Camo on the Adidas Forum. Um I like them. I don't. I just don't feel like they hit as hard. But I like them. Nah, let me stop. Uh, let me let me not knock them. Let me not knock them. Um, I've been hard on Adidas no, tell lately. Them, tell them how you really feel. I feel like I've been hard on Adidas, but <clears throat> I like them. I like the green ones. The blue ones are straight, but I like the green ones. I love the boxing on it. I love all the the extra little things that comes with it. It looks very classy, very nice. Um. This is Bape's 30th anniversary. Yeah. And fun I fact, for those like that don't know, um, Bape, um, so supposedly it's going to be, I think, I don't know if we talked about the last time, but it's supposed to be a collab or something in the works between with Nike, Nike yeah. and Nego. But mm -hmm. Nego is not associated with Bape anymore. He's been disassociated from Bape a while ago. Bape, it's his own thing now. Mm -hmm. But I um, just figured I'd throw that out. But not bad. Not bad. I'm happy to see they're tapping back in with Bape because I think Bape was the only thing that was holding them afloat before the whole Yeezy wave, if you ask me, like with the NMDs and all the Ultra Boosts and all that stuff that they were doing back in the day. Um, Because remember, the NMD Bapes went crazy. Yeah. Remember those? Those went crazy. But how you feel about these? I do like these. My favorite one is the green one. Yeah, Fox. Um, the blue one's not bad. I just feel like the green hit better. I feel like the blue just looks tacky. The green is... It does, green. but it's like you, you appreciate it because you know what it's for, like with the pattern yeah, where it's from. It's like but it's, it's I feel what you're saying. Original to bape. Mm -hmm. The color is fine. still a little bit Original tacky. to bape. That's, that's fine, but it's, yeah, like you said, it's still tacky to me, the blue ones. But I do like the green ones and especially it... I like when it's a collab and it comes with extra accessories with a different kind of box. We well, got camo laces that come with it. Yeah, I'd it still looks like it. I'd leave the white laces. Like how they yeah. come. I've always been big on like leaving shoes how they come. Like I don't really swap out laces. I'm not big on that. I can't think of any shoe I've swapped out lace except for one. But that's we'll get to that this week. <laughs> the video. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Ready to move on from this one? Ready. Look out for those May twentieth. Let me know if y'all cop. Now we got a little change of pace. We're going into the Reeboks. We don't get too many Reeboks, so shout out to Reebok, Bok Boys. <laughs> but uh, Reebok question mids, sneaker and stuff collab. We got, it looks like a, it releases sometime this year. It's, um, is that leather? Yeah, it's a leather. It's an all brown leather. All brown leather, brown laces, all brown upper. Then you got a cream midsole with the gum outer sole bottom. Clean, classy. I'm okay on them though. Uh yeah. I would not cop, but I do like that the back part of it, the left heel tab has the SMS and the right heel tab has the Reebok logo. I do like when um especially when they're collabs and they do different um um like heel tabs to represent the other collab. Yeah, like they I put feel little like, like things I, in there yeah, like Yeah, I feel like back in the day when they did collabs, they didn't do too much to represent the other person that was collabing with them. And for them to put, like, their logo on there, I feel like it gives them, like, 
the confirmation. The, oh, yeah, yeah, that this you. is me. I also feel like back back in the day, there was such a great area with collabs. Like mm-hmm. it was like you would get a collab, but or you will make a shoe that's inspired, but not enough to actually have the collab with the company. So it's just a close colorway. Like I feel mm-hmm. like it was such a great area back then, but again, I'm just talking from my outside mm-hmm. perspective. But these are nice. I just something about my Iversons. Like I don't. I don't you know. like them with the white and then they're not, not, no, original not, colors. Not even that. I don't know how I feel about classing up my my Iversons. Like you know, what I'm trying to say by classing it up, like fine leather. Make it with these colors. Make it look like it's a grown man shoe. Like you feel me? Like nah, you feel me? But I don't know if I like my Iversons like, like that. It looks more like a boot instead yeah, of like a sneaker. Like I like my my Iversons to have them sports colors. Like you feel me? Like but. This release is sometime this year. Always, always got to give props up to AI. Um, the answer. You feel me? We had questions and he gave the answer. But I'm um, <laughs> moving on to the next one. All right, now, now we're going into mischief. Now, we've been having a few of mischief that we've been posting up on our weekly reviews. That's because I, I, I personally like the way it's they handle it. Yeah. And you know what? It's within somebody's price range. That's true, it's too. It's not a crazy price. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's yeah. you know especially with the red boots that they made the Astro Boy boots, which has been a fail for them. Sorry to say, but it's been a fail for them. But I like feel I like don't... I feel like I'll be honest with you, I don't feel like Mischief does anything for it to be an actual like resale value. N- not resale value, but for it to be like a a stamp and like this is a fashion piece forever. Fashion like statement. I feel like they base more of this stuff around a lot of like controversy and like that now fact they're like oh everybody's talking about mischief right now you get what i'm trying to say in the sense like they don't because a lot of this stuff they do is stuff that they know is going to either get get banned get taken down something like that so i feel like they they're more about like building a buzz not so much about being mischievous making it not by actually creating a a fashion piece that'll last forever more Mm -hmm. about like just creating a buzz and making a statement and stuff like that like but how you feel about these these are not bad, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I like the colors. I mean, it has gray, you know. I like my neutral monotone colors. Yeah, and then the ye- the pops of the yellow and the red. I mean, it's not bad. Honestly. See, I feel like these are like the soles. Did they do another shoe where it's like as the show, the soles get carved down, it's like different layers of colors. So you start carving it and then oh, like, okay. you, you, remember, you remember what I'm talking about? Have you seen those before? No, I only seen the wavy ones. There's one. I'm going to have to show it to you because I don't, I don't know the name of it. So for me to find it's going to take too long. But what's the um, name of this? This is, oh, I'm sorry. Mischief Gobstomper Grey Lag Goose Edition. This release is May 18th, 2023 for 195 I apologize. Um, But yeah, the best way I can explain this soul, because I feel like it's the same exact soul, is... Think of like a candle, like when you dip a candle in multiple layers and shit like that, and then you start carving away at that candle as you carve cream. it, you'll start seeing the different layers of it. That's what the, how the soul is. So as you go messing it and like messing it up and like scraping it off, you'll start seeing more colors under and it'll keep going. So I think like they do little things that's like, it's cool, like you feel me? But um, so this, how long but, is the shoe supposed to last and do you see the other well, color? Shit. And I wonder like <laughs> what you get like what you get to the color pick. Oh, you seen that color? Oh yeah, you gotta get a new pair. Exactly. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, May 18, 2023, mischief with the gob stompers. Wow, hey yo, pause on that name. Mm-hmm. Alright, this one right here. This is um just the first look, no release, no nothing. Only thing we got is a price for it. It's the Diamond Supply Co. and Puma RSXL 75th Anniversary Tiffany Blue. And it'll be 130 How you feel about them? Not bad, honestly. I like them. I like them. You don't like them? Uh, I feel like it looks more like a girl shoe anyway, so... My issue with this shoe is... You have a, it's like a New Balance, right? Mm-hmm. You have a, you have this Puma that has so many layers mm-hmm. and so many textures and so many things you can play with, and all you did was give me this solid gray shoe and do a few little, like Tiffany Blue. First of all, who told you gray and Tiffany Blue was the the colorway of the year? Like who 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 said no? We're not gonna do white. We're not gonna do black. We're not gonna do none of those colors. We're gonna do a whole gray shoe and add a bunch of little bunch a little bit of tiffany blue they definitely could have added some black and narrow that would have made a pop oh for God. sure oh that's lazy i feel like that's lazy 
And <laughs> it's not lazy. That's lazy as shit. Uh, you're so funny. <laughs> what? Because you said that the all white Kobe's was like that one you would yeah. cop, and that's all white. Yeah. And this one is more colored. Barely. Gray, black, and Tiffany blue. Has like one extra color, and it didn't go good. Two colors. That has one color on the other shoe. Okay. Uh, it's two and colors. But, but so it's just that, one extra color. But the, but the triple white is is thinking of it. It's, thinking of it all. So you're telling me that these are cleaner than the triple white Kobe 8s? Those are better. Somebody thought about no, you, doing this. No, nah, you bugged out. Oh, for real? Yeah, not nah, Fox. <laughs> just all white. They were, they, were, out. they were very creative with the all white. <laughs> they definitely weren't creative with this either. They were more creative with To me, they look more creative doing the all white than these. Come on now. You tell us what you think. I don't purse. I personally don't know. I really don't like these. Uh, nothing about it like screams light to me. This screams like something that's already came out or I could have already found on well, the, on the show. Well, don't be doing crazy No, no, no. Don't, 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 don't say that. Either. No, don't say that. Why? With that whole Mario collab, the Mario Galaxy Pumas that, remember, we had got our hands on? Oh, okay. Fire. Yeah, that's Those true, were... Right. Puma does good shoes. Okay, well then it was whoever collaborated. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, Diamond, no. this is your fault, I, Diamond. I just felt like... The shoe model, I'm not complaining. I like the texture. You have so much to do with this shoe. I just feel like it was just a waste. Then you have a collab, Diamond Supply collab name with it, and this is what you gave us? <laughs> you bugged out. Moving on to the next one. I take a... All right. So now, moving on to the next one, because we just finished with the... What was it? The, the Diamond. That sweet collab coming out. <laughs> They're going to hate me. Okay, why are you talking spicy? Because I can't. What are you talking about? Um, The Salehi Bamberi? Bamberi? Bamburi, Salehi Bamburi, excuse me if I said it wrong, I feel like I got the first part right for sure, the Salehi Crocs Pollock Slide Citrus Milk, these released May 25th, 2023 on beasponge.com, so I guess this is a specific, spell it out because that's not how you spell sponge, that's not how you spell sponge, but how would you pronounce that, B-E-A-S-P-U-N-G dot com, I said spell it for them, oh, I mean I was going to put it on there like that, but I guess be a spunge. Be a spunge. Be a spunge. Dot com. <laughs> punto com. Mm-hmm. Um, but first of all, shout outs to Soleil, man, because he's been doing a lot of stuff and bringing a lot of the buzz back to Crocs and the stuff he's been doing. I like the patterns and the texture that he does with his stuff. I don't have a pair of his Crocs, and I've been going crazy with Crocs. I like Crocs. <laughs> Semi Crocs, man. They're comfortable. Um, but I do need a pair of these. Uh, I like the, um, the, didn't he do like a teal, like dark, like teal color not too long ago? There's like a dark navy-ish green kind of color. Those were nice. I like those. I like these too, but I want the Crocs with the actual strap on the back. How do you feel about these? No. Nah? No. You don't like his stuff at all? Not really. Really? No. I like it. I mean, it's different, but. I like it. I'm sorry, I'm not going to waste $65. I'm going to say waste $65 on the shoe. A rubber shoe? I'm good. What? So you don't have Crocs? Yeah, but I haven't paid full price for them. That's true. That's true. I'm <laughs> going to pay even more. Well, we pay for the staple ones. But the staple ones is the only one. Mm-hmm. But I got to represent New York, boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like it. Shout out to Salehi, what he's doing, man. Keep doing you. Um... I think he also did some new balances and stuff not too long ago that came out really nice. I'm gonna have to show you those off camera because not like show some, me them off camera. Yeah. <laughs> nah, cause some <laughs> some really be designing some crazy stuff like his Crocs. You know, there's only how so much crazy. you could do. There's only so much you could do with Crocs other than um you know Bodega. Shout out to Bodega. They just did a Crocs too like a week ago. Oh yeah. Fire, fire. They but, gave you a zipper bag for what? Hmm? For what? For coins. Coins at a. Coin collecting. <laughs> what do you think is it? I right, it looks like that wraps it up. Now again, let me go back into it and say I apologize. We didn't have a setup. We didn't do no week of copper drop, but we're still we're still getting the the show crate. We're still trying to get some more different stuff to give to you guys. Um, what I was saying earlier this weekend, we won't have something different. I really hope y'all tap in. I really hope y'all comment because we're gonna need you guys. I right, I'm gonna need you guys to set somebody straight, but. We ain't going to get into that right now. We're going to get into a few little cops. Unfortunately, she didn't have no cops. She took a pause because she shitted on me that last video. So she was like, she going to let me get a little bit of the spotlight this time. <laughs> so 
I got a little spotlight, but I already know she's going to come on next video. But, boom, starting off. Also, thank you for me. I feel like since I started doing these videos, I've been getting stuff. I've been getting stuff now. Boom. 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 Thunder Force, baby. Don't got them. Shout out to Finish On, too. They pulling me through. I was talking so greasy about Finish On. But they got me right now. They getting me right. Got the Thunder Force. Had to get them. Definitely, definitely was hesitating. You know my pockets ain't deep if it ain't no discount, boys. But for the fours, I had to make that purchase. And now, going to something that I have yet to start making videos about, and I need to. Um, and I hope y'all, if there's people that watch it that also collect hats, may I go on both of them. But we got some... I'll start you on a new trend. We, we got some hat pickups. Some beautiful hat pickups. And this is... This, I've, lately, I've been going crazy. I can't go crazy with the shoes, so I've been going crazy with the hat. But you know what? I'm going to save this one for last because I want to give a special shout-out to that one. But I'm going to go with this one right here from Fan Treasures right here. We got the Roberto Clemente right here, man. Y'all better put some respect on this hat right here with the Pit Pittsburgh script front. It looks like it's like a light brown khaki. You know what? I ain't going to do too much of the description. I'm just going to let y'all peep. You feel me? Bam. Bam. Stop playing. Look at that patch. I don't even know if I'm on camera. My shit gonna be all the way over there. And I'm gonna be, yeah, it look nice. Ain't nobody gonna see it. <laughs> Boom, Fan Treasures, Pittsburgh Pirates. Now, this one right here, we the North. 95 North Boutique, man. Shout out to them, man. They've been going crazy lately. And they've been showing mad love by doing the pre-orders. So, they definitely for the people. I don't know what y'all talking about. But they definitely for the people. Because they've been putting pre-orders up like crazy. And me being out of state, big shout out. Neither this Astros. Fire. Patch looking crazy. Colors looking crazy. Little bling blau. Look at fire. Boom. Great UV. Stop playing with them boys. Going crazy. That's one right there. Third one. Shout out to Ronnie Fittings. Yo, son go crazy. He does the anime collabs and all the other stuff. That He's one of my favorite who's designers. Yeah, Ronnie Fest, the one no, I no, like. No, 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 no. Who's, who's this supposed to be from? Oh, well, this is actually a sports inspiration. This is oh. um Michael Jordan Wizards. When he was on the Wizards hook right there. We got the Chicago White, so White Sox. Because that's how he'll say. Shout out to my man. I'll be watching the video. But boom, we got the Chicago White Sox right here. Wizards colors. Look at that patch. So I went crazy with those colors. And the size on that. People was talking like, I don't know about that. Nah, I saw it. And I'm like, I need that joint. That joint looked like a real live banner in the basketball court. Like stadium, right? Fire. Boom. Chicago White Sox, Wizards. This was actually released at uh, Burdine. Shout out to Burdine Chicago, too. My fault. They be doing crazy stuff. Burdine's Ronnie collab. And then we're back to this one. Shout out to Stills out in Canada, boy, with the fire real tree Mets. Hooking your boy. Making sure they looking out, too, bro. They definitely looking out. Making sure collectors get what they supposed to get. Boom. All-star patch. Boom. Boom. No real edge. Little... Logo, but I got a little bit, a little real right there. Look, You're got a, barely whoop. real. I got a, you feel <laughs> me? But nah, definitely happy to have this in my collection. Shout out to Stills. Shout out to all these designers and stores for these five crowns right here. And that's really it. That's all we had this week. We try to keep it short for y'all. But like I said, we're going to have something special. So it's your boy, Strong Fitted underscore TC. Or if not, T Franz. If you know, then you know. And to my left, my beautiful co host. Tell me D three L M I underscore X L X O. Every time. <laughs> Catch us on the next week. All right, man. Y'all be easy. Peace out, familiar.